The developers added another thing to the layers docker in the latest version, and it's the colors you can see on my groups. The ability to tag layers using some colors. You can select any amount of layers, right click, and you now have the ability to select a color. So you have a little selection in here, and you can also click on the cross to remove colors from the layer. There's a new icon next to your blending mode in the layers docker. And if you click on it, it will list all of the colors that are used on any of your layers in the layers docker in this document. Then you can click on any of those colors to only have the corresponding color inside of your layers docker. This will filter the layers in the document down to that color. You can select multiple colors at the same time. For instance, if I select the purple and the red, I will get my foreground on that document, as well as the gameplay area. I'll have the background as well with the sky in that case, but you can't see the group that contains the characters. This is the main reason why you want to use that. It helps you keep your document organized and to work on only a subset of your layers in the layers docker. This is very handy. It's not only useful for that. In future versions, the developers will add a Python API to Krita. The tags will allow you to process certain layers. For instance, you may want to batch export all of the characters and only the characters to a folder called characters. Well, you could do that by using a script and reading all of the layers that have a green color. You could then tell your script to export all of the layers that are tagged with this color to a folder on your computer next to your Krita document called characters. And then you could use that in your game. Tagging, it's going to be really useful in the future, but we are going to see what we can do with it here and now. You can select any amount of layers and you can right click to assign a color to them. Then you can also do that by pressing the F3 key. If you want to change other parameters as well, you can assign a color label to your selected layers right here. You can see here, I changed my selection to purple. With the filtering, it's quite simple. You can click on any color to filter this one in the layers docker. Now you can see that I still have Dan selected here which is a green layer and I have its parent groups as well. That's just how Krita filters layers right now. That is to say it will keep the color you the layer you have selected in the layers docker until you deselect it manually. This is just for the sake of not making you lose your selection all of the sudden if you filter layers. You can see a little diagram in here that shows you the current active colors. It can show up to three colors in that case, and it's quite handy. It gives you an overview of the colors you have in your layers docker at the moment. You can also at any point click on all to show all of your layers again. Then you can also use the no label color tag to only show layers that don't have a color assigned to them in the layers docker. You can see in here those three layers. But you will notice that Krita will still keep the parent groups even if the layers you want to see don't have the same tag as the groups. This is so you kind of know where the layers are in the layers hierarchy. You can also click on all twice to uncheck all of the layer tags and then you can click on one tag again so that Krita only shows you the layers that are associated with that layer color. Now the colors will change a little in the next version of Krita, so don't be afraid if yours are slightly different from mine. They will be a bit more vivid and the order of the colors will change as well.